This morning, heartbreak for family and friends of 18-year-old Kirsten Williamson reported missing a week ago and found dead in rural South Carolina. Killed, police say, by a man the transgender teen met on an online dating site. She was a very, very trusting. She, she didn't see the evil in the world. That didn't register with her. Police believe suspect Joshua Newton picked up Williamson from work for their scheduled date, then drove to his home two hours away and killed Williamson. Authorities not revealing how, but they say Newton's girlfriend helped hide the body, which was found on the side of a road two miles away. I think they had planned on meeting up and spending some time together going on a date. And um, that's where, when she met him, that, that was the plan. And unfortunately, it ended in the, the loss of her life. To think that somebody could take somebody as innocent away still sleeps still sleeps with a teddy bear Promise Edwards was a close friend of Williamson whom she knew as Jacob and says they had discussed a plan to stay in touch while Williamson was on the date and even share Williamson's location using an app. We had a whole in-depth conversation for days before this and all Jacob kept saying was it'll be fine. He's the sweetest. We're so much alike. Police say the risks involved in online dating are well documented. One study found 81% of people lie about themselves on their online dating profiles. Another survey found 46% of Americans now believe dating sites are not too safe or not safe at all. Joshua Newton is charged with first degree murder, his girlfriend with obstruction of justice and accessory after the fact. Police did not say what dating site the victim used. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.